Welcome to Successful Meetings in English. In this lesson, we will look at agreeing and making suggestions. There are many different ways to give your opinion in a meeting. In this lesson, we will show you four. The first one is the easiest, which is to agree with other people. Then we will move on to starting a, a turn and then talk about how you can make suggestions. The final one is when you want to keep talking when other people are talking. And this skill is called holding the floor. When giving opinions in a meeting, agreeing is the easiest way. Try one of the following phrases. That's a nice idea. I really like it. I agree. I think you've expressed it well. That's right. It's a very good point. Yes, well put. Surprisingly, Many people do not say these agreeing phrases. They are short but very effective. Make sure to remember ones such as that's a nice idea or that's right and try to include them in your participation language. When you start to talk, you may need to get other people's attention and this can be quite a difficult thing to do in a second language. Here are some common phrases to start a turn. Can I say one thing? May I say something here? Let me say something. Excuse me, I'd like to add one point. I'd like to respond to that comment. You don't have to memorize every example. Perhaps choose one or two phrases which could become your favorites. For example, I'd like to use um, may I say something here? Or I'd like to add one point. The most important thing is to not wait too long and don't be shy and just get your favourite phrase out and let other people hear you. Another good way to start your turn is by making a point right after another person and include their name when you start. For example, following up Karen's point, adding to what Karen said. I want to say something about Karen's good point. Then you quickly move to your own point. Following up Karen's point, we should focus on project Y. Adding to what Karen said, investing in Blue Star is a good move. Starting your turn can be very difficult. It's good to have a set phrase ready and look for your turn. Following up with someone else's opinion is always a good idea as well. And timing is very important. An important part of participation is to make a suggestion. We can do this in many different ways according to how direct or strong we want to be. This will depend on the context. Here are some ways to express a suggestion directly. We must take action. We have to do this. We have no choice. We'll never have another chance. It is a must. We shouldn't waste any time. Here are less direct ways to make a suggestion. I believe what we need to do. I would like to propose. I strongly suggest. I think it's a good idea too. We should try to. Whether you sound direct depends a lot on your pronunciation. You can make any of these ways even less direct by having a soft tone. Finally, here are some examples of indirect ways to make suggestions. How about? Just a thought, but we could. Only a suggestion, but it is possible that. Thinking aloud, why don't we? May I suggest a way forward? These are quite long phrases and may be difficult to remember. So it's good if perhaps you can just use the first two or three words and then add your own specific idea. Uh, for example, uh, how about, uh, may I suggest, uh, just a thought, and only a suggestion. When a discussion gets heated, many people may want to talk at the same time. It's very important for you to try and hold the floor and get other people to listen to you. Holding the floor means you keep talking and then other people listen. This can be very difficult to do, but don't be shy and don't give up. Here are some useful phrases that you might want to use. Sorry, I'm not finished yet. Can I finish, please? I just want to make one final point. 
When people are discussing things very quickly, you might find that you've lost your opportunity to say your opinion, especially when it's not in your first language. But don't worry, you can catch up. Please try to say your opinion and don't be shy or don't be afraid. Here are some phrases which you might find useful on such occasions. Sorry, I missed the chance to say my opinion earlier, but can I say something? I should have brought this up earlier, but I missed my chance. I hope I'm not too late to suggest a way forward. In this lesson, we have learned about language that we can use to get a turn in a meeting, different ways to state your opinion, and ways to keep talking or hold the floor. See if you can observe these points when you next attend a meeting, and when you want to give your opinion, try out some of the language. As usual, please use the checklist. Good luck!